have to get our story straight. Hi, friends. I finally watched the first two episodes of Cruel Summer Season 2, so let's talk about it. Warning, if you have not watched yet, there will be spoilers. I am going to be honest, the first half hour was very boring, and I was going to give up, but it slowly got better. As you saw in the clip, we have a murder mystery to solve. You should know we jump from three timelines which are summer and winter of 1999 and summer of 2000. First, we meet Megan, who is kind of awkward at the beginning of summer. She is more of the studious type and cares more about getting into college. Then we meet Isabella, an exchange student who comes to stay with Megan and her mom for a while. Isabella is more like a free spirit, but definitely is not shy when it comes to getting what she wants. At first, they don't seem to get along. Megan is reserved and doesn't seem to want to be friends with Isabella. I noticed a change in Megan when Isabella expressed interest in Luke, who is Megan's best friend. A hint of jealousy showed at the pool part where she saw Isabella and Luke hanging out. I did get the feeling at the beginning of summer that Megan had feelings for Luke, which was confirmed during the winter of 1999 when they were both together. Isabella and Megan are also best friends during the winter. You notice the change in Megan during the winter because she had her hair down and a lot more social. Now, fast forward to a Christmas party Luke's dad throws, and when he is about to play a Christmas movie, it turns out to be a tape of Luke with whom everyone believes is Isabella. My question is, how is that possible? Like, I know how, but if you saw the episodes, the tape doesn't make any sense to me. Well, it turns out the girl on the tape is Megan. No one knows who leaked the tape. My money is on their friend Parker. What do you think? Fast forward to the summer 2000, and we find out Luke is missing and Megan and Isabella are no longer friends. Something else happened because Megan starts looking more darker, but we still don't know what. At the end of the episode, a body is found, and it turns out to be Luke's. The thing is, I didn't see Megan all that upset by it. As far as we know, they were still together, so why isn't she crying about his death? Why did she and Isabella stop talking? I have so many questions. So did you watch the first two episodes?